سیشن ون فائیو پروفیٹ محمد پیس بی اپون ایم دا لاسٹ اینڈ فائنل پروفیٹ آف اللہ دا مین فار دا مین کائنڈ قرآن اینڈ محمد بائی ایکس بریگیڈیئر مستن سر بلّہ برزز اینڈ سسٹرز السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی بگن ود دا نیم آف اللہ ہو از موسٹ گریشیس اینڈ ٹریمنڈسلی مرسیفل سورہ فور فائیو جاسیہ ورس ٹو سکس بٹ بفور دا نامد نسلی اللہ رسول الکریم پروفیٹ محمد دا لاسٹ اینڈ فائنل پروفیٹ بلیسنگز آن ہیم سورہ فور فائیو الجاسیہ ورس ٹو سکس کل اللہ یو یی کم سما یو می تو کم سما جج ماکم الا یوم القیامت اللہ رہ بفی ولیکن نا اکثر نا سے دا یالمون You say, it is God alone who has saved you, first, created you, given you life, then he'll make you dead, and then gather you on the doomsday beyond a shadow of doubt, inevitably, but a majority of people do not register it, but a majority of people Do not register it. Pan-monotheism of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Pan-monotheism of Muhammad, a global ideology. A global ideology. Nothing is ever done in this world unless men are prepared to kill each other if it's not done. William Shakespeare. I repeat, nothing is ever done in this world unless men are prepared to kill each other if it's not done. William Shakespeare. Too harsh, perhaps? But this is how man treats each other. Reason? Quite obvious. Big talk, high ideals, Notwithstanding, fairly large section of mankind hasn't really raised itself above the state of animals. There must be a reason for this too. Yes, Burton Russell said, you can do anything as long as it doesn't take you to the police station. Burton Russell said, You can do anything as long as it doesn't take you to the police station. And then the placards the girls were carrying the other day in USA. Keep your laws off my body. Keep your laws off my body. Just what we cherish. Unrestrained freedom and liberty for ourselves. But the real reason almost all of us are affectionately and passionately bound, in fact chained to the spiritual line of our fathers and forefathers. Not quite accurate again. It's nothing new. People have argued similarly since centuries. We are born We were born in a family with this faith, and we, we have been placed in the believers by birth. We, uh, we were born in a family with this faith. Had we been, my apologies, had we been placed in the believers by birth, we'd have been believers. It's not our choice at all. Appears apparently plausible. But a closer look proves these are shoddy, shallow, off-the-cuff arguments. The modern mankind in the West has disbelieved, refuted, criticized Christianity and turned secular, agnostic, has given up worshipping Jesus, Mary and our Father. These didn't satisfy his soul, his objective analysis. 
he had certain reservations mainly about the concept of God, certain queries, and many doubts and spiritual problems for which he could not find satisfactory answers and satisfactory solutions neither from the Bible nor from the peerage. Battling with himself for years, he finally said, Oh, my religion, adieu. I can never live with you. Goodbye, Jesus. Goodbye, Mary. Goodbye, Father. I am not convinced that you are my gods. It's the modern man who has had the courage, the audacity, and the conviction to question the faith, the values that his forefathers had passed on generations after generations. In, a, in an industrial and intellectual leap and in a technological syndrome, he has crossed many bounds of parochialism, prejudices, bigoted thinking, and mental and emotional fixations, and plucked out the unconvincing, baseless, unproven, confusing, and dubious inherited beliefs. I repeat, in an industrial and intellectual leap and in a technological syndrome, he has crossed many bounds of parochialism, prejudices, bigoted thinking, and mental and emotional fixations, and plucked out the unconvincing, baseless, unproven, confusing, and dubious inherited beliefs. But his troubles are not yet over. But his troubles are not yet over. The spiritual vacuum, the yearning of his soul to get close to God is pulverizing and he tries to escape, seek contentment, satisfaction in hedonism. The spiritual vacuum, the yearning of his soul to get close to God is pulverizing and he tries to escape, seek contentment, satisfaction in hedonism. In this search for truth, rather in his search for truth, the true God to seek contentment, in his search for truth and the true God to seek contentment, he has gone astray and begun worshipping, worshipping the idols of power, money, beauty, popularity, and sex to get rid of social boredom doesn't know the spiritual side of his existence at all, doesn't know the spiritual side of his existence at all, doesn't really know where to seek the truth and where to find that refulgent, bright light that can illuminate his heart, his soul, his society, and in fact, the entire world. The reason being that the job is half done, for he has not as yet put to use his optimum capacity and abilities. Truly speaking, there are still some prejudices, mental hang-ups, distates for others which have constrained him to look around with open mind to register the manifestations of truth, to grasp the realities and thereby regenerate himself spiritually and morally to make his existence positively consequential, meaningful, and achieve the higher purpose of his being and achieve the higher purpose of his being. 
there's one fifth of the mankind he doesn't approve of his inferiors militarily technologically economically and he show even culturally and ideologically there's one fifth of mankind he doesn't approve of his inferiors militarily technologically economically and he is sure even culturally and ideologically perhaps certain inherited prejudices that have prevailed in the west since centuries still haunt him prevail in his subconscious and so he feels disinclined to even look at what the muslims have perhaps i repeat says certain inherited prejudices that had prevailed in the west since centuries still haunt him prevail in his subconscious and so he feels disinclined to even look at what the muslims have perhaps for once if we could jump over his this apparently interminable barrier pick up the book that has existed with the mankind since 14 centuries study it with an open unprejudiced mind ponder over it discuss it with knowledgeable people analyze it discursively he could find a new spiritual self in himself he could find a new spiritual self in himself in contradiction to the above described modern man in the west there are still a large faction sticking to the beliefs of the forefathers heedless of any objective purposeful and useful evaluation of their beliefs and values such people have existed since ages excuse me such people have existed since ages as in the field of sciences our analysis evaluations and falsehood tests must be ni plus ultra to the utmost point in spiritual matters too as in the field of sciences i repeat our analysis evaluations and false tests must be ni plus ultra to the utmost point in spiritual matters too it is said he who knows only his own side of the story knows little of that it is said he who knows only his own side of the story knows little of that how can he know he has the truth if he doesn't know anything about the false their minds are hermetically sealed in spiritual matters their minds are hermetically sealed in spiritual matters if you ask them to come out of the well and take a look around they consider it sinful perverse leaving the faith of the fathers and forefathers they aren't even inclined to see they aren't even inclined to see quran mentions such people at many places 31 sura lakman was 21 states at the translation only and when they are told to follow what has been downloaded added by allah the quran they say no not at all we'll follow the path the religion on which we found our forefathers ask them would you follow your ancestors even when the devil hackens them to the misery torture of hell 43 surah al zukhruf verse 21 22 translation what have we revealed to them some book before it quran which they are holding fast which permits which permits ascribing equals to god no 
they obviously have no such authority, evidence or book, logic or reasoning. But they say, we have found our fathers and forefathers on this way, these beliefs, and we follow their footsteps and are rightly guided. Again, Quran states in 16 Surah Al Nahal, verse 35, and the Mushrikeen, pantheists say, had Allah desired, so we couldn't have worshipped anyone anything else, and we couldn't have worshipped anyone anything other than Him, nor could our fathers have, nor could our fathers have done so. Hard worship, had worshipping other gods been really disliked, disapproved, Allah would definitely have intervened, prevented us from doing so. And nor could we make anything unlawful, forbidden, without his order's permission. O Prophet, this is precisely what their ancestors did. So the Prophets are responsible only to deliver Allah's message unequivocally, lucidly, plain, and straight. The autonomy of human reasons tells us that mankind could come to know God, creator, sustainer uh, of the universes through reason alone, unaided by revelation or metaphysics. The greatest evidence about the falsehood of such arguments is that if, if adhering to the religion of fathers and forefathers is the existence of millions of secular agnostics who have discarded the face of their forefathers. Second, such polemics don't stand the scrutiny of modern-day psychological analysis. Convincing the children in the modern era isn't an easy task. We don't normally take the same subjects at college and university levels as our parents had. Mostly, avoid reading the books our parents suggest. Don't often adopt the same profession as that of our parents. Don't marry the same types of spouses that our parents chose. On the contrary, we often feel that we are more aware, shrewd, and pragmatic, and morally upright in taking decisions than our parents. In this era, often the parents complain children want to make their own mistakes. Children want to make their own mistakes. Mostly children don't like being spoon-fed, pushed by the nose, persecuted to do things. As a well-known saying goes, when you are young, you want to change the world, and when old, you want to change the young. I repeat, when you are young, you want to change the world, and when, you, when old, you want to change the young. And most important, not turning the lines the path of the parents is evidenced in the nature's way of putting the generation gaps wherein the tastes, morals, intellectual pursuits, fashions, styles, way of thinking, and orientations differ to such an extent that the generations on either side of the gaps, the parents and the children, find a difficulty in adjusting to each other's requirements and wishes. Re regrettably, it's only in the spiritual matters that we follow the faiths of our parents. Regrettably, it's only in the spiritual matters that we follow the faiths of our parents. Not to be convinced, not to agree with other people's faiths, religions, ideologies is all right, acceptable, and everyone's right. But to be imperious, proud, arrogant, impudent, inimically, 
aggressively charged that the other isn't getting into your bandwagon is something which the modern man has come to detest. This is the beauty of my desire. Don't please call it lust. O oh beauty, sell me no cup of wine, but don't defame me, blame me in disgust. I repeat, this is the beauty of my desire. Don't please call it lust, O oh beauty. Serve me no cup of wine, but don't defame me. Blame me in disgust. Unfortunately and regrettably, the bleakest, most tragic, traumatic part of mankind's history has been following false religions, ideologies, and faiths, and not only that, but con concomitantly being imprudent and intolerant, saying the least, with other religions, faiths, ideologies. I repeat, unfortunately and regrettably, the bleakest, most tragic, traumatic part of mankind's history has been following false, false religions, false ideologies, and faiths, and not only that, but concomitantly being imprudent and intolerant, saying the least, with other religions, faiths, ideologies, etc. That and for today. Please pray for me, ex-brigadier Mustansar Billah. Jazakallah.